All right, YouTube, what's up? It is Jamie May here, back here with another one. And today, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, now I, I'm not like a big Leon player because I'm, I'm just not really comfortable with using Leon. And I went up against this Gilbert Burns player. I literally picked Leon. Up. I was just like, let me just use Leon. He's going Gilbert, let me pick Leon. All right, on um, this first round, I got my ass pieced up. <laughs> it, it's because Leon only has 91 power and Gilbert has that big, I, I believe like 94, 95, 95 power rating. So it's like when I was hitting him, it, it wasn't really doing anything. But when he was hitting me, it, it, it was landing and it was hurting, all right? So right here, I'm just trying to get accumulated with his striking uh, as far as Gilbert burns his patterns. So right now, I'm just playing off of the back foot. I'm just touching him right now. And I'm trying to get used to Leon because, as you can see, I kind of look uncomfortable striking with Leon just because I really don't use him like that. So I'm just trying to find a mix in between a kickboxing and a boxing range right here. And that's kind of what you need to do with Leon. You need to dictate the kickboxing range first. Walk and have your opponent walk forward to where you can basically pick what style you want to do, whether that's kickboxing or if it's uh if, it, if it's boxing right so you can see right here i'm just kind of touching i'm going to the body that's that's the main thing with me just in general no matter who i use his body work because I, I i do believe bro body work is just kind of like a lost art in this game like a lot of people really don't work the body you know like that you know what i mean there's very few players who do do it i just you know i feel like it's a lost art a little bit and i feel like i do have real good body work so that's what i'm doing right here i'm staying true you know what i mean i am getting tagged i am getting peace that was a bad kick in the pocket but i'm just trying to touch him right here and i do go for a takedown and i do get it now instantly what i'm thinking give verse has the full guard transition and he gets it i could not deny it all right so right here, I don't want to play in Gilbert Burns guard, so I do let him up as I leg kick him right there. Gilbert Burns has a pretty good switch stance as well, so me trying to fuck with him, you know, trying to, you know what I mean, trying to play that game, it ain't going to work that way either, right? So right now, I just want to touch him. Keep fighting on the outside, stay patient and touch him. Again, that's what you need to do with Leon. Um, right there, I made the greatest mistake. I thought he was going to throw a head kick, tried to pull it. He goes to the body. Right there, that lost me the round because now he's just going to continue to tee off on me. And I'm, I'm just touching his body. He's not blocking his body. I'm going to continue to touch it as I get rocked right there. You just got to stay true, bro. Listen, Leon is not the hardest puncher. He's fast. You got to, I want to say be real combo heavy, but you, you really have to mix it up with Leon. You can't, you can't just do kickboxing with Leon. I mean, you can. But it, you're playing a dangerous game. If you're just going to do kickboxing, just go fucking warn the boy. You know what I mean? You can't just do kickboxing with Leon. And you can't just do boxing. Because boxing is really not Leon Edwards' strong suit. You have to find a mix in between a boxing and a kickboxing. And then I realized, hold on. I'm playing with... I'm, I'm starting to look like Leon Edwards a little bit. You can mix up the knees, the elbows, the clinches as well. Because Leon Edwards is real good in the clinch. So you can mix those in as well. As well as the wrestling. You can mix... Leon Edwards is the, is the jack of all trades, bro. He, you really can do a lot with Leon. As I get that body kick off at the end of that round. I lost that round. But I do feel like I did enough damage to set myself up well for the next round. And that's kind of the game you have to play. When you're at such a disadvantage. Uh against another player right so with leon i really don't have the best uh boxing i don't have the best power i'm at a disadvantage right so basically i need to touch him pause to where i can set myself up for a finish you know what i mean just stay true stick to the game plan and set him up for a finish i just have to keep keep in mind that you know gotta stay patient it's gonna, you know, the, the the finish, the finish is there. You just gotta prep them up. You get like, like what I what I say. You gotta marble the snake. You gotta gotta baste it. You know, you gotta get that butter, that garlic, that part. You gotta get it prepped and ready. You know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta do with when you're trying to get the finish. All right. So you can see right here as I take a sip of 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 uh, of uh, that 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 okra water. You know what I'm saying? I ran out of alkaline, so we got that okra water. Hey, you can see right here. Oh, um, uh, you can see he's kind of box heavy, so I want to go low. I don't want to trade because I have low leg health and body health, so I can just I can fucking just go upstairs and then he goes downstairs and then I'm fucking rock. So I kind of don't want to do that, and that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I'm trading with fucking low head health. Rock him right there. Go to the body. 
Right there, he's trying to pull Connor, trying to get too fancy. You don't get too fancy when you're going up against me, especially when I got Leon Edwards, right? This is the game you want to play with Leon. That clinch against the cage, that's what you need to do. I'm just continuously touching him. I know his head health is low because I did rock him and drop him. So I'm like, okay, I got my confidence now, but I, I just I just need to keep touching him, right? Try to land that head kick because I was going low so much. I whiffed on it. Bad whiff, too. You can see right now, I'm mixing up the combos, throwing in that jab. He catches me with a teeth. Just throwing in that jab, fainting, using my feints. T kick, another T kick. He's been eating a lot of T kicks, and those things add up. You may not think body straights and body jabs and T kicks add up, but they do. And that go that clinch I was talking about at the end of the first round. As I get him down right there, I try to jump. He up kicks me. If I would have got that, I probably just would have held him for the rest of the round. I'm not gonna lie. Um, try to get out of full guard at least. He should have landed that lead body uppercut. That was landed. Caught him right there, side stepping with the body kick. Question mark kick right there. Now, now I got him to a point where he has to pick one. He is it's a pick him now. If you know you don't know what a pick him is, this is the definition. You have their body health flow and their hair health flow. So they gotta pick whether they wanna block high or low. And depending on which one they block, you know, they're gonna get rocked either way. So they have to pick one. That's where the mix-up comes in. That's where you get the advantage, and that's where I'm at now. You need to get to your opponent to where it's a pick -em. They got to block high or low. Do they want to block the body kick, or do they want to block the head kick? They're getting rocked either way. They just got to pick one as I get rocked, as I said that. And I think, I believe he tries to go stack guard right here. I do deny it, and I do get that half guard reversal from uh, feet on hips. So right here, end of the round pretty much. I know he wants to get in full guard to use that juju, so... So I don't need to I don't need to go there, all right? And I'm, basically I was pretty on a full guard. I didn't want to go to the full. I did not want to go there. <laughs> I didn't want to go there as I posture up right here. Just trying to land off some some decent some decent enough uh ground upon as we end off that that second round. I won that round convincingly. Now it's prepped and ready. Now I can put the steak on the stove. It is there now. It's there now. And me being a lean on being a uh uh a natural southpaw and on um, fucking Gilbert being on um, orthodox, it leaves open that that rear head kick and the rear body kick. So yeah. it's there for me. You know what I mean? Excuse me as I as I burp. As you can see, I um he outstruck me, but uh I've pretty much like I picked my shots. I did more damage essentially. I, I would say, even though he landed the more significant strikes, I, I did more damage. You can see I'm clinching him right here, trying to use that traditional Leon Edwards uh, clinch work as he gets off a little leg kick right there. And I'm putting on a pressure, rock him to the body right there. Boom, boom, body kick right there. Throwing that jab in his face. Nice little calf kick that he throws right there. Lead calf kick, spinning body kick. I'm like, okay. But I need to crowd him to where I need to, I need to force him to box. That's what I want to do. I want to force him to box. There we go. Knee to the body. There we go. Finish. Easy. Clean cut. Pound for pound net shot. That's all I need to do. I wanted to force him to, to, to do something to where he feels comfortable boxing. But in, you know, in hindsight, I'm in kickboxing you know what I mean? Not right there. I would say, I mean, a kick still landed. That kind of was like a little over the edge to boxing range, but I got it done either way. I got it motherfucking done, man. All right. I, I think I did pretty good with Leon. I, 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 I look pretty clean. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, man, y'all boys like, comment, subscribe. Share if you enjoy the film, join the game. Let me know down below in the comment section what y'all thought about this video. Peace, love, and prosperity. Love y'all. Do something productive with your day. It's not productive. See y'all boys next time.